Hello, welcome to my quick review of the Mini Champs 140 third scale Lotus 81 seen here in the Essex Oils livery, which uh, I have a preference for over the John Player Special black and gold livery. But uh, interestingly, so, so what's distinctive about the livery is this uh, silver there. So it's a reflective silver. So I'm not sure we'd seen much in the way of reflective colours uh, finishes on car liveries but uh, it's quite effective and it's got Essex up there with that but uh, <clears throat> I do have a quick uh, a review of this car within a larger Lotus series from some years ago but uh, I was asked to do asked if I had any more Formula One cars uh, so I'm just doing a selection of them for upcoming weeks so do subscribe if you want to see some Formula One cars, starting with these ones from uh, 1981. So, uh, pictured here, you've got Elio De Angelis in the cockpit. So, this is about five years before he died in a Brabham at Paul Ricard, which was a sad thing. And uh, I do recall seeing photos of an Elio De Angelis black and gold JPS liveried Sinclair C5 electric little vehicle uh, so I don't know if that's there's probably photos of it on the internet I guess anyway um, <clears throat> so his helmet actually reminds me of Jean Lacy's surely uh, I don't know if I've got that right in my mind but it does seem to be it now you'll have noticed here I've got a uh, Cosworth DFV in 43rd scale now this one came with a spark models um, Honda TN Acti van in Lotus Essex livery. Uh, so a, a little pickup truck thing. So here it says even there, DFV. I'm not sure what that, that just says there. Uh, anyway, uh, and you've got the trumpets. Now on the Mini Champs model, the trumpets appear to have um, wire over them, you know, uh, mesh over them which makes sense on this one i'm not seeing the mesh uh, so uh, which one's the better model of the engine i'm not sure the there's a bit of detail the difference there is difference there so uh, anyway but obviously you can see more of the engine here so that's nice to see the ht leads etc um what have you the uh, output side anyway that's that's uh, you might see that in my Honda TN Acti video it's which might just be part of a Lotus Essex collection video anyway going back to this one so it's a mini champs model Paul's model art and there's good detail on the rear suspension there a lot of delicate parts there let's come around and look at that upside down oh goodness yeah yeah quite impressive really uh, you've got the huge Venturis because this is the ground effect era and you can see the skirts uh, to seal it in, <coughs> to seal the low pressure under the car in, to help suck the car down. Um, anyway, you've got, uh, interesting, um, whew, not sure what they are, but uh, interesting pieces. Uh, front suspension, yeah, plenty there. You've got the um, brake cooling ducts um, and so on. So yeah, there's a lot of this silver detail on this car, which just makes it a really gorgeous model. I think Spark did a version of this car as well, but I don't own that. I've got this Mini Champs one, which is very good actually. Uh, let's have a look in the cockpit. Okay, yeah, good representation. The dials. Uh, we should see a gear lever under his right hand, probably. Ooh, maybe just about in there. Hard to be sure. Bit obscured unless it's on the left hand side. Uh, I'm not seeing that. No, okay. Good belt detail, etc. Suit, logos, sponsors. Not bad. Um, <coughs> we've got the roll cage, which is a nice looking thing. Uh, the wheels, excellent. Yeah, four spoke, very typical. From one one car spokes, a bit like the Ford RS alloys, actually, thinking about it. Uh, so, 
it's interesting that the, mm, that wheel rotates for a while but not completely nice Goodyear decals on the tyres to so say watches um, yeah not bad at all good structure on the uh, rear wing and the rain light um, yeah love I, this is one of my favorite models in my collection uh, engine radiator engine cooling radiator and probably the oil radiator on this side I guess um, yeah very happy with this one so um, yeah do subscribe I've got some other 12th scale Formula 1 cars from 1980 that I'm doing and then uh, 1989 Benetton and a 90 era uh, Jordan so there's some interesting stuff I've got <clears throat> plenty of 43rd scale Le Mans cars so you can look back at those reviews road cars etc a lot of spark models and HPI models 12th scale 24th uh, not 24th scale 18th and 64th so uh, yeah thank you for watching um, yeah so uh, do subscribe cheers